Hi guys, this is Dave Marshall with the RC Air Marshall YouTube channel and welcome to part two of the Spectrum AR636 programming series. Today we're going to be discussing installing the software necessary, which includes the Spectrum programmer software as well as the Safe Model Builder. Let's go ahead and get started. To get started, we're going to want to go ahead and open up a File Explorer menu. This is on Windows 10. And we're going to want to go to the folder where our downloaded files come in from our browser. So when we download a file from our browser, you're going to want to figure out where the, uh, the downloads are getting saved. In my particular case, they get saved to the Downloads folder on my PC. Once we're in the Downloads folder, the first thing that we're going to want to install is the Spectrum uh, Programmer, which is an executable application. We will just follow along here until we get to the Spectrum Programmer Installer, which is right here, Spectrum underscore Programmer dash Installer dash 3.4.0.0.exe. So we'll just double click that executable file and that will bring up a user account control dialog box. We'll go ahead and click yes. And that will bring up our Spectrum Programmer setup window. We'll go ahead and click install. Now I've already got it installed, so it's just updating the files at that point. We'll go ahead and hit click close. The second thing that we want to install is the zip folder that comes in for the safe model builder that we downloaded from the RC Group's website. And when we go down here to our zip folders, uh, you'll see safe model builder for AR636 1.5.zip. When we open up that zip file, so you can just double click on it, you're going to see that it includes a folder called the Safe Model Builder. Now this works on Windows 10. I believe it works on Windows 7 as well. Um, but keep in mind that none of this works on Macs at the moment. So what we want to do is we want to just take this folder that's inside the zip file and we're going to drag it over here to the desktop. And then we can close our uh, our Windows Explorer, our Fire Explorer menu. Now when we open this folder, it's critical that all of this stuff stays together, which is why I just drag it out to the desktop and I use it right from there. The Safe Model Builder uh, has a DLL file and an executable. It's important that the executable and the DLL file be in the same folder or the program will not execute properly, which is why we do uh, the method that I was just showing. So that's all there is to installing the software to follow along with the AR636 programming series. Be sure to stay tuned for part three, where we'll do an overview of the Spectrum Programmer software. We'll see you there.